Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com and I'm here in the West Parlor to do another mail call at the Pipe Nook. So uh, this is where I answer questions or I have answered questions from customers or, or viewers of the channel via email typically and uh, this one actually I think was a YouTube comment that I replied to. But I figured it would make a good um, topical video. So I'm going to set this down because I've got some reading to do. This is what I was smoking in my last video that I posted a few days back. Uh, this is my Rattray's Dark Ale Shape 105. Love this pipe. If you're a long-time viewer of the channel, you know I, I just love the medium size type pipes with the slight bends to half bends. Um, I like the acrylic stems. Good clinchers when you need to have a clincher. Great pipe. 9mm filtered. So anyway, I'm going to set that down and we're going to read the question and the answer. So, uh, this, this is an interesting question. That's why I picked it for this series. Uh, so I've titled it, Will Pipe Smoking Stink Up My House? Uh, the question is, I'm new to pipe smoking. I have a large collection of books. If I smoke indoors, will it affect my books at all? So here's my answer that I sent back. Good question. I've not thought of it much, but it has crossed my mind from time to time. I keep a small assortment of books, maybe 20 or so, that I hope to read uh, out in my smoking room, which is a climate-controlled garage, what I call the West Parlor. So I do have some books over here, and I've got some more books over there. And I tend to do some reading out here. On occasion, when I finish a book and take it into the house, I've smelled the book, and there is a slight smell that reminds me that I read it while smoking my pipe. It's not the acrid smell that comes from the burning bleached paper of cigarettes. It's less cloying, less present overall, but a pipe smell is there. In my case, I only notice it when I literally open a book and put my nose into it or flip through the pages. My wife has never mentioned that my already read books stink, and she's pretty sensitive to pipe smoke. She's not a fan of smoke smells in general, but she finds pipe smoke is less offensive than cigar or cigarette smoke. While I don't smoke in the house, I can tell you that the more porous materials that you have in your smoking space, uh, such as hundreds or even thousands of books, large curtains, etc., the more that pipe smoking will smell, uh, you know, it'll linger. You may like that, or you may not, and while I can't answer that for you, what I can say is that pipe smoke is decidedly not like cigarette smoke. You most likely won't take down pictures and find a lighter space where the picture hung because the rest of the wall has been yellowed by pipe smoke, which is something that does happen with cigarettes. Again, I'm not 100% certain of this. Perhaps some will comment in the comments section of this video with their experiences. I suppose if you smoke a pipe multiple times a day indoors, that some effect may happen over time, just more slowly than with cigarette smoke. I'm confident that if I ever sell this house we're living in now, that if I paint the garage there won't be a lingering smoke smell. smell. That may also be something you have to do in the house if you smoke inside and wind up selling. One thing I do to decrease the lingering smell of smoke after I've had a pipe is to run an air purifier for 30 minutes to an hour, 
Lavoie is a good brand that I can recommend and that's the air purifier I have out here is a Lavoie or a Lavoie I'm not sure how to pronounce it so that's L E V O I T you can do an Amazon search for those air purifiers they're a little bit pricey but uh, they're the best ones I've found uh, without spending you know several hundred or even thousands of dollars um, back to your question in regards to books because I really went off topic here uh, I'll sum up by saying that yes if you smoke in a room that has books those books will over time take on a light pipe smoke smell and the attributes of that smell will vary depending on what kind of tobacco you smoke. Whether it's cherry or vanilla, other aromatics, Latakia blends, heavy perique blends, etc. But the strength of that smell and the degree to which you notice it will vary greatly depending on many factors including how often you smoke, how large your house is, whether or not you use an air purifier, whether or not you smoke filtered pipes or unfiltered and of course I always recommend charcoal filters gotta throw that in there uh, also how often you air out your house by opening windows and doors uh, and many more that maybe I haven't thought of here I personally typically like the smell of old books uh, the smell of a library is amazing to me and the older the books in a section, the better I like the smell. And of course, the older a book, uh, the more chance that it's been read by someone who was smoking. Again, uh, the older the book and the more increased chance that its previous readers were smoking a pipe. I know this isn't a definitive answer, and it seems that I've hedged my bets quite a bit behind variables. But, as with many things in life, the answer isn't a simple one. This was definitely an interesting topic, however, uh, to give more thought to you. So thank you for the question. Um, so that was an interesting topic, and I'm, I'd be interested in hearing um, your personal thoughts and your personal experiences with this particular um, topic. I, I know a lot of you smoke inside your house. I smoke kind of quasi inside my house here in the in the west parlor which is a, my garage but uh, many of you smoke inside and I'm sure many of you read and have several books so I'd be interested to know your thoughts uh, as to whether or not the pipe smoke uh, affects the smell of your books and if your significant others or your family members have a differing opinion from yours so we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to get back to my pipe. Glad y'all got to see me and we'll chat with you later.